Welcome back guys. We are going to do another five minute DD video. It's been a couple weeks since I did one of these and I love these. So we're jumping back into it. There's a lot going on in the market. Um, I will be doing an updated video on the 1k dividend account challenge. It's been rough lately with all the banking stuff that's been going on. And that's a big reason why we're talking about ticker HTGC today. It has fallen madly over the past couple of days. So jumping right into it, I'm going to go over the positives first. I did a short on this guy. If you guys are from that video, you found that video. Um, this is the full extended version. Five minute DD, I jump in, talk about a, a stock that I like, do a bunch of research on what I want to know before I buy it. And then I list that out for you guys as well as some of the cons as to what makes me scared with some of these. I don't own HTGC yet. I'm looking to start a little bit of a position, but right now life is crazy. So I'm not really buying into a lot right now, kind of waiting for the market to level itself out a little bit. Starting off, we have that insane 12.95% dividend yield. 13% yield is pretty wild. So a lot has been going on with this company. Let's talk about their price appreciation. The last five days down 11%, the last month down 26%. So we can see that they actually were at an even lower price in September, and then they ran all the way up to like 40%, and have since then dropped off over 20%. Now, for those that don't know what happened was there's SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, um, an another bank as well, basically just terrible news. These banks are kind of going under. There's a lot going on. They need government bailouts. And with that comes turmoil for smaller, you know, all sorts of capital banks like uh, BDCs like Hercules Capital who do the same kind of thing. You know, it's a bank in their industry following a big bank, so it's going to hurt. It'd be like if you're looking at EV stocks, Tesla taking a huge hit on, let's say, revenue, on production, on something like that. Um, some of that backlash would come back to other EVs, and it kind of hurt the whole sector. And so that's kind of what's been going on. But Hercules Capital put out this press release. And I'm going to read through some key parts of it that I think are extremely important that show that the sell-off, in my opinion, was a little bit high, um, a little bit quick. They People jumped the gun and sold out of a lot of the banking because they figure it's going to be a steady drop down. And we may see that still. I'm still speculative on what's going to happen. But the main thing I want to talk about is down here it says... Um, they talk about a number of important things, guys. This is all on their website. I'll link their website in the description. Check it out. Read through it if you would like to on your own. It is really, really important. And so we can see that they talked about Hercules has enjoyed a competitive and collaborative relationship with Silicon Valley Bank, the bank that went under through their 18-year history. They partnered with them. Um, they do not hold any cash or cash equivalents or have any direct banking or operational relationship with SVB. So this is showing that they their money itself is not linked to SVB. So the crash with SVB is not hurting their finances directly. Now it means that there could be other issues um, and there could be a worse response by the market itself like we've seen, but they themselves, the company itself is not in turmoil at this time from the SVB closing other than the backlash. Another thing is that they have added 50 million of capital to provide companies with assistance um, with short-term financing to help with the backlash of SVB. This was before SVB was bailed out by the government. So we'll see what happens with that still, but it is a good response by them in my opinion. Another pro, um, is their 11.1% earnings, which is impressive. Earnings increase in the last 60 days. Mm -hmm. So they have been doing well. They're not they're, they're not suffering as much. And well, I think that was released mm -hmm. a few days ago. So maybe they didn't take into it. They still took that into account with their earnings, but they're still talking about overall the company. So let's talk about the dividend history. I'm babbling a little bit. It's pretty solid dividend history, sporadic inconsistent they do this weird dual dividend type thing where they pay out two um i'm not sure why that is sometimes they only pay out one it just all depends but you can track it they've been not necessarily growing their dividend i mean a little bit let's they did cut let's see 2013 i think was the cut um no it's before that 20, 2009 was the cut last time they cut their dividend so it's a good history in my opinion the last couple decades um, or last decade and a half, I should say, but they were growing it before then, cut it, and now have been growing it since then, and there hasn't been another cut, which I like. And they've been growing it at a pretty impressive rate, you know. That's not easy to do, especially with how the market's been, so I really do like that. They are smaller. Uh, what's their market cap? Market cap of 1.4 billion, so not that small. They're pretty big, but smaller compared to like ARCC and some of the other higher up uh, BDCs. 
sustainable returns. They talk all about that in the investor presentation, um, which you guys go read through some of this. It's pretty interesting as well, and you learn a lot. They've five year, seven year, they've gone up um, shareholder return 50% and 81% on the seven year, which is pretty remarkable. So I love seeing that. I love seeing the growth of this company as I do with a lot of other companies. And basically they just have a lot of highlights in here that you're gonna wanna talk about. My phone's going off like crazy. Um, but I did include this little snippet of their investor relations um, kind of presentation. So investment income of 100.2 million, really good. Um, let's see, total debt investments, 2.82 billion investments at cost, effective yield, 14.7%, remarkable remarkable um 600 million in available liquidity you know price and have 1.37 a lot of a lot of good things basically this is just the highlights that they presented a lot of good points you know i do think it's important to look through these companies and i'm definitely going way over um my five minutes but let's talk about the the negatives we have the banking fear you have the drop in price that just happened it's spec it's scary still no matter what even if you fully believe in it it's a little bit scary you know if it could drop even more if more news comes out about svb or another bank goes under it's it's sporadic um the sporadic dividends are you know it doesn't bother me much as long as dividends increase but some people are more more keen to that more like the consistency tracking it really specifically especially if you're doing this for like retirement um, but that definitely depends on your scenario and what you're doing and lower growth. We saw that over the last 10, 15 years, the dividend growth hasn't been phenomenal, um, including a dividend cut. So I wouldn't like to see another cut. That's for sure. It doesn't look like they're heading that way with how they're increasing their earnings. That being said, you never know with these companies. So you always, you know, do your own research. This is not financial advice. Do your own DD. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Drop a stock you want me to do a five minute DD video on or a short on. I've been loving shorts lately. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subs and you guys have been insane so far. We've grown um, about a hundred subs per month. I've only been doing YouTube since like December. Well, really doing it. I have some older videos, but you guys have been great and I appreciate all of that. Um, so if you could like the video, drop a comment and subscribe. That helps all the algorithmic stuff, which is excellent. And I hope you guys, um, I hope we'll see you in the next one. I hope you get a good day trading in the market. Uh, and yeah, have a good day.